An introduction slide appears with the OPRE Methods Meeting logo at the top. The presentation title appears in the center of the slide in a blue box and reads, Managing Research and Data for Reproducibility and Transparency. Additional text appears in the lower left-hand corner and reads, Margaret Levenstein, University of Michigan. Methods for Promoting Open Science in Social Policy Research. OPRE Methods Meeting 2019. The screen changes. The presenter, Dr. Levenstein, appears on the right-hand side of the screen standing behind a podium. The presentation slide appears on the left-hand side of the screen. The slide is titled, What is Reproducibility? Four questions appear on the slide that researchers can ask themselves to assess reproducibility. Dr. Levenstein reads and explains each question aloud. The slide also includes text about the differences between replication and reproduction. Dr. Levenstein reads this text aloud in her explanation. The letters ICPSR appear in the lower left-hand corner of the slide. The OPRE Methods Meeting logo is shown in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. So when I think, what is reproducibility? This is a question. Can another researcher or another analyst obtain the same results using the same data and code? Okay, that's the, a goal, right? So the first thing is, can they even access the data and code? Do they exist someplace in your file drawer? Um, or on the, on the floppy drive that you don't know where it is and you don't have, no one has a thing to read it, that doesn't count, right? Um, uh, often, and it, and it includes both the data and the code and an explanation, often more of, more lengthy explanation than what you would put in a referee journal publication explaining how you got from the data and even the code to the published results. And so if they can access, access those things, are their results the same, right? And if not, why not, right? So it's, we actually would like to know, this is an important question. We know, and you saw some of the results earlier today, um, that there have been a lot of studies that have shown that, it, that even where we have the data, even where we have the data and code, um, published results oftentimes are not reproducible. And sometimes that's for reasons that have to do with the versioning of the, the software, um, versioning of platforms. Um, one really interesting innovation that we've seen increasingly is people um, archiving their data and code in a notebook such as Jupyter Notebooks. So in a capsule that gives you the platform and allows you to recreate that platform. Um, so that's just something to keep your eye out as you're trying to think about how to get rid of the, the, the technical challenges um, that arise from reproducibility with technical change. There are other reasons that come up, such as versioning the data itself. So you use the data, it got updated, you use this version of data. I work in the health and retirement study, we have one version at Michigan, we have another, there's another version at RAND. Those, they're not the same, right? They, are, they come from the under, same underlying data. So understanding the, the provenance of the data, the versioning of the data is important in, uh, in, in actually enabling um, reprodu reproducibility. We also want to distinguish between replication and reproducibility. And I will say that in some disciplines, they use these terms in exactly the opposite way. So don't worry if this sounds wrong to you. It, it is entirely domain specific, but the, the distinctions are essentially the same. One is, can you, do, can you get the exact same results with the same data and the same code? And the other is, do you get the same substantive inference, right? Is the knowledge that we're gaining, does it hold with other data, in another context, with another specification, right? Are these results generalizable? And if they're not, right, that doesn't mean you did something wrong. It doesn't mean you made an error. It means that we should learn from that and understand why. Is there something about the context, about the um, uh, or about the data or the uh, analytical processes. All of those are valid reasons why uh, things might vary. 